gotta call her right away. Zach's here. Hey guys. Zach, how are my levels? I've been I've been adjusting some levels. Let me know what y'all think. Give me a one in the chat if it's all good. If Zach sounds good. If the game audio's, what is it? Is it perfect? Is it too high? Is it too low? Tell me. It's probably beyond perfect. Well, D Zach, you think so? Now, how yeah. how the hell are you, brother? I'm okay. Okay. First time yeah. caller, long time listener, kind of thing. Uh, I called in in the past, but you get a lot of callers. Fuck. He crackened me, Rex. You fucker, Rex the second. Um. Classic Rex. Okay. So it's been a while, but you're back. I'm glad you stuck with the show. It's I I can't actually see you guys right now because. Well, that's probably I for the best. Twitch. You closed um, Twitch. Are uh, you saving? Is still there? Are you trying to save um? Some processor, uh, uh, I just didn't want to hear it on both. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're, you're a smart guy. Oh, someone burned me. If Rocco's still there, I have yeah. a Disneyland pimp. Rocco's story. there, but I forbid all, uh, discussions of Disneyland. Okay, I'll allow it. Alright, so, um, Yo, where do you I want to ask me? on the chat me up. who mentioned <laughs> Hold on. It's, oh, jeez. Give you an urban theme. There you go. I mean, doing, he put his wrist in front of the screen. I could not see. You doing see. SMS or you doing Viewing Globe? What up, <laughs> dude? Get on hey. aim. Get on aim. That'll hit me up here. All right. So, From one pimp to another, what you got? Well, Fuck. I don't know if I can consider myself a pimp because there's only two pimps in the world. But well, well, I don't know. You ever, you ever met a pimp named Slickback? Oh, there's more than two. All right. Well, so I was the one on the chat who mentioned <laughs> that I write for the. The WDW radio blog. You write for the WWE radio blog? Really? This is this yeah, is a yeah. call. This is a call for uh, for, Eric. for Eric and Brian, not Rocco. What are you doing? <laughs> are they gonna Are they gonna have an episode at Disneyland? Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. I think they're gonna oh, wrestle wait. each other at Disneyland. Well, anyways, uh, so I'm a big Disney fan. I went to Disneyland Paris last August, and oh wow, I I have an update on. Dude, we got you had spanked. talked about Jesus the shirt that you saw that Mickey knows how to suck it. Yeah. Does it well. So I don't know if this shirt was as bad though. It was a bit more it had a dark side to it. Wait, it was Mickey wait, 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 hold on. Is it gonna be Mickey knows how to molest? Hold on, back on. <laughs> back that up. You saw a guy at a shirt at Disneyland that said it. Mickey knows how to suck it, and he okay. does it well. Derek and I were jet lagged and underslept beyond belief. We we flew into Paris, landed. They told us they weren't gonna. We, <laughs> we landed at Minecon. They told us they weren't gonna play our video, so we went fuck it. Oh we yeah. Went to Disneyland Paris. I remember. We were <laughs> so out of it, and they were selling a shirt in the gift shop that said like Mickey Mickey. Yes, we, uh, you know, something. It was something in French. Yeah. <laughs> but it was in handwriting, cursive, and I it was half asleep. And it was like, dude, that video or that shirt looked like it says, "Mickey knows how to suck it." <laughs> it looked. It looked like. I don't know what it said, but Mickey, it was something. Mickey, Jesus, I love you. Suck it. Jesus, I And then I said, it. yeah. I wonder if the back says he, he does it well. <laughs> Oh my. We, I mean, we were just out of it, yeah, not yeah. making sense. Delusional. That's all. There's no other story to it. That's it. So <laughs> well, anyway, so you saw something darker? Uh, <laughs> it was a Minnie Mouse shirt. Uh oh. And yeah, I know. So it was. Don't was, don't fuck Minnie. Minnie sucks it better. No, this was oh. the, even a bit more heinous than that. Was oh, that no. Minnie Mouse Big is in a bed and she looks all like sexy. She, she, well, did, like, she has no idea what's going on. Her clothes are kind of not fully on. Frazzled? Well, and, yeah, it, it's like early in the I'd morning. i call it sexy. And, it's, and so it looks like she just woke up, she's all frazzled, and it says, what happened last night? Whoa! Whoa! That's not I, good. I really, I didn't appreciate the kind Maybe it's like, you, you know... She got slipped a Mickey. She went, she worked... <laughs> 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 oh, that's not oh, funny, though. That's oh. not good. God, just lift the Mickey. Um, the main thing, fine, but that's not a good thing. Maybe I'm thinking Minnie's like a single working woman. She came home, kicked off her heels, had a glass of wine, and then she watched I Game of Thrones, and then just like woke up all disheveled. Like, that's what still, happened don't last Don't sell night? that at Disneyland. I don't know. Yeah, that? What weird. happened I'm last maybe. night? But the French love wine. And crackers. Yeah, and being rude. And cheese. And stinking. Everyone hey. that- what? 
I think you have Everyone there. Why did this devolve into stereotypes? No, no, because no. Everyone there when we were there was dressed so well. I was jealous Fuck. of how everyone was dressed. They were dressed incredible and they were all rude. Really? I, that's just my experience. I'm not saying that's everybody in I've Paris. I've been to France. But that's. Um, it was. It, there were parts of the city that were very dirty. Yeah. Same with Rome, too. I think that's just old world, yep. not a lot of uh, uh, modern conveniences, you know? I didn't bother. I, it, I'm the only one I know who went to Paris and actively avoided the Eiffel Tower. I did not care. Oh, you know Every, what? I, everyone was, like, telling us how dirty it was and how, like, the people around it were no like, way, dude. rob you. A Nairobian guy tried to sell me a little gorilla that you squeeze and his dick popped out, like a little yeah, red head. I, I did not give a fuck about that tower. I spent as long as I could in the Louvre because that's where the artwork and the mind and the heart and soul of uh, humanity resides. Loop. And you could spend two days looking at half of it. So uh, I spent all my time there. I just liked Boom. hanging out at, at the entrance. My favorite part is just the the, the triangle, the, the pyramid sticking yeah, on the ground. Yeah, because that's where the Da Vinci Code is. That's where, yeah, it's true. If you've seen those movies, you know what Tom Hanks is all about. Um, I bought my ticket for game days. Oh, you got a ticket for game days. Congratulations. So, <laughs> Sounds good. First time at Disney Anaheim. So you've done Paris, you've done Florida? Yep. What did I say so at the top far, of this call? I, I did not want to devolve into Disney discussions. Uh, I think well, I'm overruled here, though. We got a lot of Disney aficionados in the room. Who, you got a year pass? No, I, I don't. You two got year passes. Oh, yeah. You're gonna visit. I, I mean, you might as well buy a year pass. So I have a year pass right now to Disneyland Paris because do you know how screwed up their ticketing system was? No. It was no. cheaper do tell. to buy an annual pass than it was to just get four, a four day ticket. Oh, okay. That, that remi that so it paid for itself in less that's how, than that's four That's how days. Disneyland used to no, be. Yeah. For uh, Universal Studios has that. Yeah. I think a day pass is like, Anywhere between like 90 to like. It's like, 10. yeah, 95. 90 to 110. A year, a year pass is like, I think it's like 137. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of blackout days? Yeah. But even still. Yeah, even still. Disneyland, uh, it's not like that. The annual passes are expensive now. But. Well, they, they're, trying to, they're trying to price everyone out. Yeah. yeah. But well, yeah, say, too fucking crowded. Yeah. yeah, but what a lot of people don't realize is their, their real goal is to get you to buy multi, multi day tickets because. To go for one day keeps going up and up and up. It's you know could could be ninety five up to one fifteen, but like a three day one or two or three day is like one forty or something oh, yeah. like that. So they're really trying to incentivize like yeah stay all week you know like gotcha. they want they want these stay in our hotel, yeah, they want yeah. in the hotel yeah. eat at all exactly. our restaurants. Um, what I, what I've heard about the annual pass in Anaheim, their goal is to cut the amount of people with it by fifty percent. Jesus. Damn. That's a it, big... And, and it works out for them because then they get the 50% that stay, they're the big spenders. They're yeah. going... Hey, they're big paying spender! For every, they're paying for the events, they're paying for the well, big... Well, you know, with, the Star Wars, with the Star Wars land coming to Disneyland, yeah. That's they're gonna looking bring, to yeah. position themselves as like a Disney World of the West Coast. Yeah, yeah right. that's, they gonna, that's gonna be big. And, uh, I mean, I, from what I've heard, they have land purchase near Disneyland that currently has hotels on it, but it's like when they're ready to move, yep. hotels are out. They like just uh, zoned for a new big-ass hotel, like, right outside. Uh, they, they, like, they're building a new luxury hotel or something right nearby. So they're going, dare you. They're going far. Uh, uh, so I'm like, excited to see what that Star Wars land becomes, oh, yeah, but I feel like I'm not going to get to, like, <laughs> enjoy it for years yeah. after it's been out. Yeah. It's gonna be so fucking slammed with annoying people. No. <laughs> You're gonna have Chewbacca moms hey, lining like, up. If you really want to see it, tag with me. Yeah. Because you're gonna have access. When, they, when all this Cars Land shit happened, oh, yeah. that was ransacked for like a year. For like yes. a year, you couldn't do anything. Me Fuck. and Kevin and Brian were in that thing before it opened. See? We found That's what we I need. knew the ways in, we knew the ways of the force. I want the and inside know, track. Hey, just stick with me. You're gonna you're gonna get in. I want Everyone that. at home, sorry, you're not invited, but this guy is, and whoever's calling right Ooh. now, you're you're cool. You're I want the inside track. And it should be, I'm sorry, 
Only people with Star Wars tattoos first month get in. That I'll should get be, one. I'll get one. You'll get one just yeah. for it? I'll get one All of right. uh, Sice Noodles. No, it has to be postmarked. You have to have dated proof that it was pre- I'm going to get Gorindon Longsnoot's eyes above my dick and his Longsnoot. It was pre-Force Awakens. I'm going to get a full wow. chest piece of Bib Fortuna. Nice. Wow, our Bib. And then, and then uh, I like, when you I eat dinner, big... just go, let me just get out my Bib. He's no Jedi. <laughs> so That's a great I character. A tattoo I'll get, I'll get a figure in Dan in the modal notes playing oh. that jizz music. Well, Dude. What's the joke there? That sounds great. Yeah, everyone likes the and modal no notes. Joke. I, I, I like their music. Alright, this guy's joking around. He's full of shit. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not invited to the uh, You know what? I gotta go. But thank you very much for calling. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time, Zach. I love you too. Yeah. That's positive. <laughs> yeah.